What's up everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel once again, and welcome to another extremely overdue review. And also welcome to Ex Mondo Berry. Yes! It looks actually a little darker and a little more purpley down here uh, with my lighting than it does like a natural light, but I am loving it. This is like perfect winter color for me, like dark purpley red, fuck yeah. But uh, anyway, yeah, so today we're talking- Oh god, it's you. <clears throat> Today we're talking about not one, but two products from Adam's Hair Stuff. So, as you might imagine from the name, uh, this brand is by a guy named Adam Hernandez, who is a professional barber, and he's got a lineup of pomades and a couple other things. Now, he does have a couple of OB pomades and other things in his lineup, but today we're talking about the two water-based boys. So he has Totem, which is his water-based pomade. This is an unorthodox, and this one is gonna be a medium hold with a natural to low shine. And we also have the Shape Shifter Clay Pomade, and this one, as I, you might expect by now knowing other clay pomades is meant to be a high texture matte finish and also this one is a firm hold. So let's start out as usual and talk what oh, Jesus So let's start out as usual and talk about packaging and pricing first. Now, both of these guys are available in a full size jar. So that's what I have here. These are 3.7 ounces or 105 grams. And these will clock in at $20 each, but they are also available in a travel size. That's one and a half ounces for $10 each. And even if you wanted to try them both, you can get the two travel sizes in a trial set for 20 bucks. It does also, also, also. He does also do free shipping for US orders over $50, so there's always that to look forward to. Now, in terms of the packaging, let's take a closer look at each one of these because I absolutely love the artwork on these labels. So these are your uh, standard amber plastic jars. We've got black hardware on there, and then these black labels with just awesome pops of color. And uh, Adam did mention to me that the artwork is kind of based around, he has some uh, Native American heritage. So we've got, you know, a, a badass looking wolf on the top of the shapeshifter. And we have an equally badass looking elk on the top of the totem pomade. And now for everybody's favorite category, we got to talk about them saints. So first, let's go with Totem Pomade. The scent on this one is called The Parlor, and it says notes of sandalwood, cinnamon, rosemary, and bay, reminiscent of a classic old-school barbershop. So, it's time to nose in. <sighs> Memories. No, it really is. Even before I read the notes on this, my first thought that popped into my head when I first got this a while ago was classic barbershop. Like it's got that baby powdery scent, but it is a little warmer and spicy and you can get those little woody notes in there. It's it's just great. Uh, and I, did, I do notice that um, it seems to intensify a little bit as you scoop it out and break it down in the hands. Uh, but once you've got it into the hair, it's not overpowering or anything. And I really don't smell it much throughout the day. And now for the Shapeshifter Clay Pomade, this one is called Tea Garden with notes of green tea, cucumber, and peppermint. Clean, fresh, and invigorating. Nose in number two. Oh, I can smell it already. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that fucks me up pretty good, boy. It really is, it's very fresh, very clean, and it's got just a nice, mm, it's just crisp. It really smells great, and that this one, I feel like, is a very unique scent. Um, the Barbershop one, I mean, it's barbershop -y. you've smelled some other products that might be similar. Uh, this one, I haven't smelled any other product that's quite like this at all. Now, quickly, we'll run through the ingredients on each one and then have a look at the scoop and the breakdown before we pop over into the demo footage. So starting out with the Shapeshifter Clay Pomade, we have, as you might expect, it's water-based. So we got water in the first spot, followed by aloe vera juice. Then we have some very familiar players like beeswax, candelilla wax, uh, peg 40 hydrogenate castor oil, our best boy. Uh, Mr. Kale and Clay. Grape seed oil, tea seed oil, bentonite clay in there as well. Fragrance arrowroot powder for some more texture up in this bitch. Uh, then 
we have some shea butter, glycerin, um, tocopherol, vitamin E, and uh, some preservatives, and then a little bit of peppermint oil down at the very bottom. Now, for the totem water-based pomade, we've got water in the first spot again, a beeswax, candelilla wax, aloe vera juice, so similar start to the formula, peg for your and castor oil, and then we've got coconut oil, grapeseed oil, shea butter, fragrance, glycerin, tocopherol, uh, preservatives, and then a little bit of rosemary oil at the end. Now, for the scoop and the breakdown on each of these, looking at the shapeshifter first, this is a creamy easy boy. It sounds a little bit weird, but you know what I'm getting at. It's very easy to scoop, it's soft, it's creamy, and it breaks down effortlessly. And it does feel and look a bit waxy in the hands, it doesn't feel dry at all. So really, for a clay pomade formula, it just, it doesn't really feel like it has a lot of clay in it, but more on that soon. First, we're gonna look at the scoop and the breakdown on the totem pomade. So as you might expect from a similar start to the formula, they do look a bit similar in the jar, but this one is a bit thicker. It's not quite as soft and creamy as the clay pomade. So you do get a little bit more of that waxy feel in the hands. But once again, it is very easy and smooth to break down um, and just, yeah, easy. And with that, let's get into the demo footage, baby. That's weird, I don't like that. So with that, Let's get into the demos. That was better. And my battery's about to die. Yeah, you know you're good at making videos when you put in your spare battery and that one's almost dead too. So we're gonna have to try to hurry up. All right, so starting out once again with the Shapeshifter Clay Pomade. Now it is recommended in the instructions to utilize a blow dryer and go into dry hair for best results. And y'all know me, I'm a dry hair styling boy. So that's right up my street. So as you might expect, we're starting out here with freshly cleaned, blow-dried hair, pre-styled only with a bit of 25 spray for smoothing. And we're going in with just a dime-sized amount. Now I will say, start small because you don't need a lot here. And another thing I'm gonna say is that this is such a user-friendly clay. Not only does it scoop and break down soft and creamy in the hands, but it applies to the hair so easily. It's quite slick, actually. There's almost no resistance at all, but you can feel a little bit of that dryness and grip setting up from the clays as you work it in, but it's not tuggy or pulley or tangly or dry or any of that. It is so easy to use and you can build it in pretty quickly. You can see the texture and volume setting up within the first few seconds here. And uh, yeah, this one definitely has a matte finish, but it's not overly matte, which is like my favorite. So it doesn't look dry. It looks pretty natural. And now here's where it gets really interesting. So it is uh, labeled as a firm hold and it, but when you first put it in, it doesn't necessarily feel like a firm hold because it feels so like soft and flowy and natural um, that I was expecting it to be more of a medium at its strongest, but honestly, that bitch didn't move. I mean, take a look here at the endurance test. This is after eight or 10 hours. And basically I didn't have to touch my hair at all, all day. And it looks almost exactly how I left it immediately after styling. There's like almost no volume deflation. The texture still looks great. And of course it is very pliable and easy to restyle and move around should you want or need to. But yeah, so it definitely ended up being a firm even though it didn't feel like it was going to be a firm. Now, moving on to the totem pomade. Once again, we're starting out with freshly washed, blow-dried hair, pre-styled with just some 25 for smoothing. And once again, we're going in with just a dime-sized amount here. <sighs> and now similarly to the Shapeshifter pomade, this is so easy to use. It's very slick and smooth and easy to apply. There's no tug or pull whatsoever. This one feels even less grippy since it doesn't have those dry clays in there. Now this one is meant to be a medium with a natural to low shine. And that's definitely what's happening here. It, the hold doesn't feel uh, quite as strong off the bat, even though the shapeshifter didn't feel firm at first. Um, this one does feel even lighter than that. And yeah, it definitely has a like a low shine going on there and a little bit more of that waxy PC texture that, you know, pomades are, it's what they do. But this is the kind of pomade that I can get behind. You know, it's not too shiny. It's not greasy at all. Um, and it's very, uh, once again, just user friendly. So I quite like the style I ended up with here, especially with this like Mohawk shorter cut. I've been doing a kind of piecier, messier kind of look anyway. Uh, and especially later in the day, so like take a look here at the endurance test. This one definitely is a medium. It had some volume deflation, it had some natural breakdown, but I like how it looks. You know, that's this is why I'm a fan of mediums in general, because I like how they just kind of break down a bit naturally and they just look really like casual and effortless, even though you, you probably, if you're like me, you probably put 
quite a bit of effort in just to make it look effortless, but you know what I mean? Now, in terms of the washout, these are both labeled on the website as easy washout. I mean, they're both water-based and as you might think, yeah, they're easy washouts, boy. I still can't do the, hang on. We're getting a little closer, but uh, yeah. Lame ass whistle. But they will come out with basically just water. So yeah, overall, ugh, on my chest. <laughs> overall thoughts on the Shapeshifter clay pomade and the Totem unorthodox water-based pomade from Adam's Hair Stuff. Don't sleep on these. I, I really enjoy both of these. Um, and you can tell that these were made by a barber, if that makes sense. Uh, like, yeah, they're home brews, but you can tell that these formulas are like dialed in. Um, and that just, the fact that they're both, these are like the most user, you, that I, you, user friendly pomades. Um, just soft, smooth, creamy, super easy, effortless application and styling. And yeah, like they, and the hold kind of dials up to what it feels like when you put it in, you know, it feels like there's not going to be that much hold, but then they just kind of transform a little bit only in a few minutes after they set and then it just, they hold up great all day. I really, especially, I definitely, the Shapeshifter is my favorite of the two, um, as you guys probably would, would gather based on how I like clays. Um, but yeah, this stuff is great. And this one is too. And it is nice. Uh, I do always enjoy when brands offer like travel sizes or kind of trial sizes. So if you didn't want to commit to buying a full size one, you can get the smaller one for half price and, and try it out and see if you like it. So yeah, don't sleep on these. Um, this is really great stuff and highly recommended. So Adam, thanks again for sending these my way. I am so sorry that this video took me so long, uh, but you know, as I said in the past couple of videos, I'm trying to catch up here on my immense backlog of, of things to do. So uh, if you haven't already, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all that upcoming stuff. And as always, thank you so much for coming by and watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.